Define your ideal and concentrate your attention upon the idea of identifying yourself with your ideal. Assume the feeling of being it, the feeling that would be yours were you already the embodiment of your ideal. Then live and act upon this conviction. This assumption, though denied by the senses, if persisted in, will become fact. Wow, I love that quote, right? I love that quote, the power behind that. When we live and act with conviction, right? And we take the stance and the embodiment of living in the end result of having our ideal life and having our manifestations now, of feeling it already and assuming the feeling of being it, it must become fact. Even if, this is the big one, the senses deny it, right? Even if it's denied by the senses. So even if it's denied by this 3D reality, we're gonna see that a lot as we're trying to manifest. Affirming something, right? Hey, I make $1,000 a day in passive income, right? Affirming that. I make $1,000 a day, I make $1,000 a day, right? We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. We can really feel it. We can maybe even start attracting more ideas on how to attain that but we're not gonna see it out here yet. And that's where the problem goes. As soon as we take our attention off from this idea of I make $1,000 a day to I'm not making any money or I'm unemployed or you know, with these senses out here, seeing this appearance out here, we drop everything, right? And our attention turns back to this 3D reality and we begin to manifest more of the same, more of not having the money that we desire. But the truth is, and this always works for me every time, I don't have to believe what I see out here. I don't have to believe it. I can believe what's in here as the truth and this out here is only an illusion. I can trust that inner state more than I can trust this out here. And so when I start turning my attention more to the inside, and you can do this too, start turning your attention more to the inside more often, it's gonna bring you a lot of relief. You're gonna feel a whole lot less stressed and you're not gonna take this outer reality so seriously anymore right? You can spend as much time as you want in this imaginary state, feeling the abundance, feeling your manifestation already, claiming it that it's yours. If you can see it and you can feel it, it is yours. You can spend as much time there. And the more time you spend there in your imagination, feeling it and seeing it, believing it, it will become fact out here. And there's a lot of people that will say, you know, well, you know, that's just dreaming. You're spending so much time in your imagination. And that's not dreaming. That is creating. That is how we create. It's not like we're just daydreaming and say, oh, I wish that was me. Oh, maybe someday that'll be me. No, in our imagination, we are seeing as if it's happening now, affirming it as if it's happening now, believing that it's happening now. And that's the power because everything starts with a vision, right? Everything in this life starts with a vision. You yourself were a vision, right? At some time, somebody thought up of you and thought, wouldn't it be nice to have this person and Voila, here you are, right? Same thing with me. Everything starts as a vision. Everything starts in imagination. So for anybody that denies this idea and says, no imagination, that's fake, that's phony. We use our imagination all the time for creation. But when we actually know the power of our, of our imagination and know the power of it behind what we can create, not just little things here and there, but creating our whole lives, that's when things change. Have you ever had something in your life where um, you, you know, maybe it hadn't happened yet, but you were so sure that it was going to happen. You just knew that it was going to happen. Even if it hadn't happened yet, you just, in that assumption, you persisted in it. I, you know, it hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. Maybe that was like a, a job promotion. I know for me, one time I was getting a job promotion and I hadn't gotten it yet, but I just knew I was like, it's a no brainer. Of course I'm going to get it. This was before I even knew about the law of attraction, but that was a self-talk I was having. It's a no brainer. Of course I'm going to get it. I feel confident. I know I'm going to get it. Okay, I was uh, persist, persisting in that assumption and I got it. I've done that with um, getting approved for like apartments or, or condos or certain places I wanted to live and things like that. Putting in the application, even though there was a ton of other people, I always said, I just got a good feeling about this. I know it's gonna happen. I can see myself living there, right? And voila, it would happen. We do this all the time, kind of unknowingly. But now once we know that we can actually do it, once we're aware that what's actually happening, we can use that to create anything that we want anything that we want. And again, this reality won't show it yet, right? There's a little bit of a time delay sometimes. This reality will not show. But if you continue to persist in that assumption, continue to persist, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. I can feel it. It's going to happen. It has happened. I can feel it right now. I can feel it. I claim it. I embody it. I know with conviction it is mine. This is how you create. I am creating. 
It's only a matter of time until this 3D reality will reflect that. It doesn't matter what your desire is. Say it that you are it now. I am the competent person now. I am that wealthy person now. Isn't it wonderful that I have lost 30 pounds? Isn't it wonderful that I am my ideal height now? Isn't it wonderful that I am with my specific person now, that we are married and we are enjoying life together? Create that now in your imagination. Create that now as that true reality inside and it will reflect on the outside when you continue to persist in the assumption.